March 2022 marks 10 years since the end of the original Bleach anime that premiered in Japan on the 5th of October 2004. A majority of people were under the impression that the Bleach anime was cancelled in 2012. Rightfully so, they were wondering why on earth would Studio Pero or TV Tokyo cancel the anime when we were just about to head into the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Now, some people still believe that the Bleach anime was cancelled, so in this video, I want to dispel the misconceptions about why the Bleach anime had to halt its production in 2012 and why I believe that this was a good decision ultimately made by the production team. There are a few reasons why continuing the anime the way that they had been would have been detrimental to Bleach as a series going into the Thousand Year Blood War arc. We're going to be talking about the TV ratings of the Bleach anime, the DVD sales of the anime, going over how Studio Piro had adapted the manga into the anime, discussing how many chapters were adapted per episode, and why the way that they were adapting the manga was leading to more and more filler appearing within the anime. So without further delay, let's begin the topic of the video. Let's talk about why the Bleach anime was not cancelled 10 years ago. Before the video begins, only 20% of the people who actually watch my content are subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy these videos, then subscribe and stick around for more content just like this. Now let's get back to the topic of the video. The first episode of Bleach aired on the 5th of October 2004. At the time, the manga had over 130 chapters released. With all of this buffer space between the anime and the manga, why is it that the anime had so many filler episodes? Well, this is all due to a little thing called chapter to episode ratio. We all know that a new episode of an anime and a new chapter of a manga released once a week. Things would be fine if Bleach was only adapting one chapter per episode, but this was not the case. We are aware that the first 70 chapters of the manga were adapted into the first 20 episodes of the anime. They were adapting on average three and a half chapters per episode, and Bleach would continue to adapt on average three to four chapters an episode, and even in some cases, five chapters per episode well into the end of the Soul Society arc. The final episode of the Soul Society arc episode 63 aired on the 10th of January 2006, and at this point they had adapted up to chapter 182. Now what is going to blow your mind is that the anime had actually caught up to the manga by the time that episode 63 had aired. This would then start a trend of creating anime original stories in order to pad out the buffer space of chapters. The first anime original story was in fact the Bound arc, which ran from episode 63 to 109. The anime would not return Turned to canon material until episode 110 was aired on the 10th of January 2007. This was a whole year after the end of the Soul Society arc. With the release of the 110th episode, the Aranka arc had finally started in the anime. Now, every anime that relies on adapting an ongoing manga series deals with this issue of maintaining buffer space between the manga and the anime. In recent times, they have started to split anime into 12 or 25 episode cores, but prior to this, there were mainly two ways to resolve the issue of chapter buffer space. The first was to adapt on average one or less than one chapter per episode. Now, the downside to this is that the pace of the anime becomes terribly slow. We know that studios like Toei Animation use this approach, and it explains why Goku vs Frieza had dragged on for so many episodes, and it also explains why the One Piece anime has terrible pacing. The alternative second option in order to grow the chapter buffer space is to write original anime story arcs, otherwise known as filler arcs. Now this technique is utilised by studios like Studio Pero, and they are of course responsible for anime like Naruto and Bleach. This explains why 50% of the Bleach and Naruto anime is pretty much filler. These filler episodes exist to stop the anime from catching up to the manga. Now, this is very important because the final episode of Bleach, episode 366, had aired on the 27th of March 2012. This final episode had adapted up to chapter 479 of the manga. Now, what's going to be surprising to learn is that this chapter was actually released in January of 2012, just under two months before the final episode had aired. After chapter 479 was published, Kubo had actually gone on a three week break in order to do research for the final arc. He would not return until February of 2012, where he would release chapter 480, about one month before the final episode of the anime. This means that by the time the anime had aired its final episode, we had less than 10 chapters of buffer space, and with its chapter to episode ratio, it would have quickly reached zero chapters just after two episodes of the anime being released. So we can somewhat understand why the decision was made to stop the anime for now instead of continuing to create another filler arc. 
and we know this through comments that were made by the director of the Bleach anime, Noriyuki Abe. During the Gold Coast Film Festival, which had taken place in Australia on the 22nd of April 2012, Masakazu Morita, the voice actor of Ichigo, and Noriyuki Abe, the director of the anime, were in attendance. They had attended the film festival in order to promote the release of Bleach Movie 4, and there were two notable questions that were asked during their question and answer panel that really shed some light onto why the anime was put on hiatus. During their answers, they had also expressed their hopes for the anime to return very soon. Ichigo's voice actor Morita was asked whether if he will continue to voice Ichigo in the future, and he had replied that while the Bleach anime had concluded with 366 episodes just a month ago, the manga however is still continuing. He had even commented on Kubo beginning his final story arc, and that the final chapter of the manga is still a while away. He ends his response by saying that he hopes for the Bleach anime to return before the conclusion of the Bleach manga. Now the second question that was asked is very important, and the answer to it will dispel any myths about the Bleach anime having been cancelled. The series director, Noriyuki Abe, was asked about how the filler arcs for the Bleach anime are created, and who writes them. Abe had began his response by saying that out of the 366 episodes of Bleach, just about half of them feature filler stories, while the other half adapt Kubo's manga from the first arc to the Fallbring arc. He elaborates that the anime staff are responsible for the filler stories that appear, and that most of the time Kubo is not present in order to ask his opinion about certain aspects of the filler story. So it is for this reason that typically before a filler arc begins, Abe does talk with Kubo, and he asks him to design new characters as they talk over the basic story of that respective filler arc. He says that in the beginning, it was difficult to create a good story featuring the world and characters of Bleach, and it didn't go as well as he had hoped. I think that in this instance, he is probably referring to the Bount arc. But gradually, Noriyuki Abe had felt that he had gotten better at crafting anime-only stories as the anime had progressed, and he had gotten to know more about the world of Bleach and Kubo as a writer. And despite the fact that the anime has ended, Abe expressed his confidence that it would return, especially since the manga was still continuing at the time. And they even go as far as to say that it was decided between Kubo and the anime staff to halt the production of the Bleach anime, instead of continuing it with another filler arc. If you want to watch the entire question and answer panel from the Gold Coast Film Festival and hear these answers for yourself, then I have linked the entire panel in the description of this video. To be honest, it was fascinating to hear Morita and Abe discuss the Bleach anime, and it was through listening to this interview and understanding a bit more about the anime production process that I had realised that the Bleach anime was not cancelled in 2012. These myths and misconceptions about the Bleach anime being cancelled had stemmed from people discussing the declining TV ratings of the Bleach anime. There are two main reasons as to why the TV ratings for the Bleach anime declined. The first reason is that people were watching less TV as internet streaming had become more popular, especially if you were comparing TV ratings from 2006 to TV ratings from 2011. Also, the main reason that I believe that the TV ratings had declined is that the last three years of the Bleach anime were mainly filler. From episode 226, to 366, we had 77 filler episodes and 63 canon episodes. As we have discussed, we are aware that filler was a necessary evil in order to prevent the anime from catching up to the manga, and the situation was made worse with the anime adapting 4 chapters per episode, and this is easily done because of the way that Bleach is drawn and written. Kubo tells his story primarily through visuals, so each chapter is not as dialogue heavy in comparison to a series like Hunter x Hunter, which has chapters that are packed full of text, so whenever the anime was covering canon material, it was literally flying through it. If we didn't have filler episodes, then the pacing of the Bleach anime would have suffered, so we can understand that a number of factors had resulted in the decline of the TV ratings. It was the number of filler episodes that were aired, as well as the shift of people preferring online streaming over traditional TV. Now on a more positive note however, the Bleach anime had always performed incredibly well when it came to DVD sales. Fans were really turning up to support the physical releases of Bleach wherever possible. Proof of this is seen through TV Tokyo's sales reports from 2018 onwards. You can see that Bleach is regularly ranked within the top 5 series that earns TV Tokyo the highest number of sales. It is up there with series like Naruto, Boruto, Yu-Gi-Oh and Black Clover. Despite the anime having ended 10 years ago, its DVD and Blu-ray sales still perform exceptionally. So when the series is performing well in terms of sales, it is still highly regarded within Japan.
Japan and overseas, it is silly to assume that the Bleach anime was cancelled, rather than trying to understand all of the factors that had led to this decision to have been made. The decision to put the Bleach anime on hiatus. And sure enough, thanks to the fans' support, eight years after the Bleach anime had ended, it was announced that the anime would be returning, with the official release date being set for October 2022. If the Bleach manga sales were declining, if the TV ratings were declining, it would mean that Bleach is not a viable product. If Bleach was such a commercial failure, then no production committee in their right mind would invest to have its final arc adapted. But the fact remains that Bleach is an incredibly successful manga series. It had an insanely popular anime adaptation that had introduced people all across the globe to this incredible series. The DVD sales of Bleach exceed those of Naruto and One Piece. When an anime is selling this well, it would make no business sense to cancel that series, unless there was a proper reason for it. So I hope that this video has explained once and for all why the Bleach anime was not cancelled in 2012. I hope all of you are looking forward to the new anime as much as I am. If you have any questions regarding the 2004 Bleach anime, then definitely continue the discussion in the comments. How did you feel after learning that the Bleach anime was ending 10 years ago? I know that personally, I can't believe that it's been a decade since it ended. It still feels like yesterday to me. I look forward to reading all of your comments and thank you for making it to the end of this video and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach Explained video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.